Newsday's uh, coverage of election night, and uh, we're going to take a look at some of the races right now. Let's take a look at the uh, presidential race as it stands right now. Biden leading with the popular vote 50 to 49 percent. But in the Electoral College vote, take a look at this. All those battleground states still undeclared at this moment. Texas, Ohio, Pennsylvania, uh, Georgia, Michigan, uh, all of those states uh, impossible to declare at this moment. So uh, we have to just wait and see throughout the evening. Now, Congressional District number one, that's Lee Zeldin versus Nancy Goroff. And Zeldin's way ahead, 59 to 41 percent. Uh, Congressman Zeldin spoke moments ago about the race and the lead he has so far. All the voters, thank you for your support and your trust. I'm looking forward to the opportunity of being able to continue to represent the greatest congressional district in America come January. And it's very humbling that because of you right now, we are up by our largest margin in any race we've ever had. All right, let's take a look at uh, District 2 now, Congressional District 2. That's Jackie Gordon uh, versus Andrew Garbarino. Garbarino uh, is way ahead, 59 to 40 percent there. Newsday caught up with Jackie Gordon, who says that she is still optimistic this evening. All right, in District 3, let's look at that now. Tom Swazi, the incumbent, versus George DeVolder. Santos, a uh, dead heat right now, 50% each for those candidates, so very too, uh, too close to call. In the 4th Congressional District, that's Kathleen Rice, the incumbent, versus Douglas Tooman. She is leading 52 to 47%. Now, the 1st State Senate District, Laura Ahern versus Anthony Palumbo. Palumbo is pulling ahead 55 to 45 percent. We caught up with Palumbo moments ago. He explained uh, why the race is so important to him. I had one party control, which I don't think is consistent with the ideals and, and our livelihoods on Long Island and in suburban areas. Um, unfortunately, it's been very New York City centric. Um, the school aid has gone to the city. Um, the, the criminal justice reform and all of the other uh, anti-police legislation I don't think is, is, is right for this state. And as a result, I'm hoping to replace Senator Laval and see if we can get the Senate back. Um. All right, let's look now at State Senate District Number 3. That's Monica Martinez versus Alexis Wyke. Wyke well ahead, 54 to 46 percent there. In State Senate District Number 6, Kevin Thomas versus Dennis Dunn. Dennis Dunn leading 52 percent to 47 percent. That is the very latest from the Newsday Election Headquarters. I'm Drew Scott, and remember, you can always get all of the latest election results on Newsday.com.